So we just ended first quarter, and this is what our spiral notebook for seventh grade math should look like at this point. Inside your front cover, you should have a scoring guide. I collected it and scored it here. We did not score it here. If you recall, I was out sick that day. But we want to get it caught up so that everybody can have a really good score there. Make sure that your name is on the other side as well as your class period. And this should fold closed. You should have a table of contents. And it should be caught up to look like this. Turning the page, the next should be a blank page ready for more in case we need more table of contents. And then we have the properties. So on page one, on page three we had more properties. And on the left side, you guys did some independent practice. I wrote down these problems, and you completed the showing distributed property using the claw. On page five, we did a Venn diagram about positive and negative numbers, which we titled integers. On the left, you'll see mine is blank, but you should have filled in what you already know about integers. That was after we completed this, so you could have used the notes from page five. Page seven, we had our first thing that we glued in, absolute value. We showed that this is an arrow that's pointing right because absolute value always goes to the right. You took some notes inside. We also glued in a number line and have these three bullets to talk about what absolute value is true. On the left, on page six, after we completed page seven, you did some practice, page 74. We did these together, and then you were supposed to do 16 to 30 on your own. Pages eight and nine. On page nine, we talked about multiplying and dividing integers, and you have this foldable just with the triangle inside, our magic triangle, that helps us remember these things. We took these notes together. And then again, as always on the left side, you guys practiced on page 94, number five through 12 and 23 through 29. All of these things could become important as we go back and do some review work. So having this notebook cut up is important. On page 11, we talked about invisible ones and signs. We put the invisibles in yellow to show where they would be. Underneath, you guys wrote what you know about invisible some numbers and signs in math and did a little practice on page 10 where we did some problems that had invisibles in them. Pages 12 and 13 was four fours. If you remember, I'll zoom out so you can see what we captured. It depends on what class you were in. We had different things we found, but you might have even more of these complete. The goal was to try to find all numbers one through 20 using four fours. It's a good brain challenging activity. Okay, on page 15, we had a foldable where you made this showing equivalent fractions. We listed a bunch of fractions that were equivalent. We took some notes and we talked about the all important cross products. If you have two fractions or ratios with an equal sign in the middle, you can multiply the numbers that are diagonally across from each other. If they come out with the same amount, then those are equivalent fractions. On the left side, on page 14, you were asked to choose a fraction not on the fraction strip and find four equivalent fractions. I wrote down the example two-fifths. People could have used all sorts of different numbers. And then how did you find those equivalent fractions? Pages 16 and 17, we took a break from the normal, where on the right is my notes and on the left is your practice. On page 16, we have our foldable for fractions. There is separate videos to help you complete this. If you no longer have this foldable, you can just take the notes on your paper by dividing it into sections and doing a section for each, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. 
On page 17, we did the same with decimals. Again, we completed this using the videos, and you can go back on the YouTube channel and find those. And this is where we are at the end, combining like terms. We took notes on some of the vocabulary that goes with like terms. We watched a video, and you took notes from the video. If you don't have this part complete, you can check with me about which video to watch for combining like terms introduction. It's at Khan Academy. At this point, we have nothing on page 18, and that is where your notebook should be. We have nothing past that so far.